Hello everyone, my name is Radio Mike and this is the inside of my mind. It's been a while since I was able to post a video a week and I am really sorry about that. And I just realized over the past month or so, there's been so much gaming news that I wanted to talk about on this channel. Uh, for instance, I would love to do a video soon about Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, which just got revealed uh, and a bunch of other things. But today I just wanted to talk about how excited I am for new Pokemon Snap, AKA Pokemon Snap 2, uh, which got revealed as part of the Pokemon Direct a few weeks ago. And I have been waiting for this for my whole life. And I am so, so excited for this. So let's get straight into it. So if you are unfamiliar with it, Pokemon Snap was a game that was released on the Nintendo 64 back in 1999 and the year 2000 for my region actually. And it was a spin-off of the Pokemon franchise that essentially worked around this idea of you being a Pokemon photographer, going through different sort of landscapes and areas in the Pokemon world and taking photos of Pokemon. And essentially you were ranked on the way the photos were framed. So you were pretty much ranked by, you know, is the Pokemon close up and in the center of the frame? Are they doing something special in the photo? And Professor Oak would rank your photos. It was such a fun game. It was on rails and it was almost like a rail shooter, but with photography. And I just remember even thinking at the time that this was such an engaging way to interact with the world of Pokemon, to interact with these uh, uh, fictional creatures that you loved from playing the main RPGs, from playing other side games like Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium 2. Uh, it was just another way to interact with them and that's what I think Pokemon actually does best in my opinion now. It's these spin-off games as opposed to the main titles that you just get to see these characters and interact with a lot of these characters in a much different way. And I haven't been silent about the fact that I don't particularly play the mainline games anymore. I don't play, I didn't play Sun and Moon. I haven't played Sword and Shield. And I just don't really think that the mainline RPGs are made for someone like me anymore. You know, a 25 year old career driven person who's not really that time liberated. Like I don't really have much time to game. I And I don't think I can commit to a big RPG that doesn't offer that many fast forward settings or anything like that. I think they're too slow paced for me. And that doesn't mean that they're bad games. I just don't think I have the time to play them. But it's always these side games for Pokemon that helps me keep engaged with the franchise, which is something that I always have done and want to continue to do because I love Pokemon so much. It is such a big part of my life. And for such a long time, fans of Pokemon Snap have been just pretty much begging for a sequel and we finally got it. Now, it might sound a little bit bland that you're just like taking photos of Pokemon and on a rail and you can't really do much else, but it wasn't just as simple as that. In some ways, it was kind of like a puzzle solving game where you could interact with the Pokemon you see and sort of cause them to do other things. And in doing that, you could unlock secrets essentially. So. You might see a Pokemon like a, a, a Charmander walking around a lava pool in the volcano level, and if you push it into the pool by throwing an item at it, it goes into the lava and evolves into a Charmeleon. Things like that where, you know, you can evolve the Pokemon by interacting with them or or triggering certain things to happen at a certain time. And it's all about looking around the world and figuring out what you can interact with and what you can do. And I just think that was the best part about Pokemon Snap, the original. So why am I so excited about the new one? Well, first of all, it looks amazing. It just looks like this Pokemon world is lived in and breathed in compared to like what I've seen of like the wild areas in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And I totally, totally understand that these two games are so different like Pokemon Snap is on rails and the world is doing the same thing every time whereas in Pokemon Sword and Shield it, it's it's a, a live world like you can go anywhere you know I understand why there are different graphical representations of the Pokemon in the games but I just loved seeing 
how alive this world looked and how amazing the Pokemon looked and just the variety of the different Pokemon you see in this as well looked amazing. It's no longer just Generation 1, which is a great decision. It would be silly to just do Gen 1 because we already had that in Pokemon Snap. And the franchise has just come so far. I don't think they need to do uh, Generation 1 fan service for this like they usually always do. I'm so happy to see a variety of Pokemon and just being able to see them in their habitats and see them doing their thing. It just looks so good. And I can't wait to see what this game is going to become. It just has so much potential. Ideally, it would be a little bit bigger in scope than Pokemon Snap. I wouldn't mind seeing more branching pathways or secret exits to the world that you can discover. More levels, more Pokemon, more ways to interact with them would be amazing, but not too much. Like there was a beautiful simplicity to that original game where you didn't have too many options. So you sort of just tried a little bit of everything to see what happened. And that's really what I'm looking forward to doing again. Just, you know, going through the levels and then the replay value is so high because you're constantly just discovering different ways to interact and different ways to make different things happen. So I am just really looking forward to seeing this world and, and being immersed in it because it looks so incredible. I think one of the best things they could do for this is include some kind of social media integration. Like this game is built for the social media generation. If you could share the photos to Twitter, to Instagram, to Facebook, to TikTok, to whatever, really quickly, I think that would just be such such an easy way to get this game marketed to everyone. People are seeing these incredible photos and just want to pick up the game and play it. I would love to see some kind of mobile connectivity where you can connect the Switch to your mobile and send the photos through and post them or just upload them straight from the system itself. I think that would be awesome. I'd be interested to see how many of of the new mechanics of the series will be featured in this like will you be able to give mega stones to the pokemon and maybe some of them can mega evolve will there be dynamaxing and gigantamaxing uh and maybe will there be a little bit more control obviously the game worked so well because it was in on rails but i would love to see you maybe being able to put in some input and control where you're going possibly the other thing i thought would be cool is if we can see uh new environments there was such an array of environments in the first one but i would i think it would be incredible to have an underwater like a like maybe a submarine style uh vehicle that you're in and you're underwater in say a coral reef and there are all these water pokemon around and you can interact with them and maybe it works a little bit differently i just think that would be amazing in this glorious hd pokemon snap maybe even one where you're in the sky and seeing pokemon fly around that would be amazing as well um those are the two i really want to see most something to do with um ocean exploration and sky exploration in the original we did have a, f a lot of variety which was great there was the beach there was the volcano the river the valley but all kind of i don't no, there was no like changing of the vehicle there was no yeah underwater exploration which i think would be really cool the other thing is i wonder if there will be any kind of space or alternate dimension sort of uh world as well because obviously since that first generation of pokemon we've had a lot of space pokemon you know there's a meteor pokemon there's deoxys um, that would be really, really cool. Uh, like maybe the moon or something like that. I doubt it would happen, but that'd be awesome. Or even, yeah, like alternate dimensions, like all the Giratina stuff and, and a little bit more of that supernatural side of Pokemon would be really cool. Even something like a haunted house or a haunted mansion or a cemetery or graveyard and there's all ghost Pokemon. I think that would just be so, so cool. So I am just so excited that we're finally getting to a sequel to one of the best Pokemon spin-offs there has ever been. And it's taken, you know, over 20 years for us to get this finally. And I think people are very excited about it. Let's hope it holds up. I do think they're going to put a lot of effort into this because one of the things I believe Nintendo have been showing us in the last few years is that they are really listening to what the fans want and they do want to give the fans things that they really want and they want to put, put a lot of effort into them because they know that these things mean a lot to the fans. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of videos like this just talking about games, movies, TV shows, music and other things pop culture. It'd be great if you could support me. My name's been Radio Mike and this has been The Inside of My Mind. Catch you later. I hold you close the moment last I touch your skin 
But I went to run my hand through your hair and I noticed You were attached to string You were a puppet this whole time, you were attached to string You were a puppet this whole time